Hey guys, it's one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Today, I thought it'd be cool to do an interior, or start an interior, plan an interior for the high school. Now, I've done an interior to a school before, but that was way back years ago, in fact, on season one of Let's Build a City. And although it looked really cool, I missed out quite some important features that a school interior needs. So this time, we've got a little bit of experience behind this, and I've got you guys in the comments section to sort of remind me if I forget anything this episode. And uh, and we should be able to get a really cool sort of interior with, with everything that we sort of need to have. Also, side note, um, I need to do something with this grass here not that many of you really are that bothered but it looks a little bit flat a little bit plain i don't know if i need a fence going around here or stripe the lawn or something i don't know what but it just looks the trees are nice but something needs to be on the ground there i just saw it before i started recording anyway let's have a quick sort of guided tour inside let's get a night vision potion so everybody can see a splash and let's turn the shaders off if i hit the button there we go. Okay, so inside here, we need to have some sort of, let's get a block for like a, a planning block. We'll use cyan wool. We need like um, uh, a, a main sort of hallway really with lockers and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm thinking uh, lockers can definitely be along this wall. Let's use like this block to represent some lockers going on. It's going to be a very rough plan this episode. Okay, uh, and then this is going to be like a general sort of meeting place, if you like. Now I'm thinking over here, I don't really want a classroom over here. But we need, uh, it's, it's too big for one room. So I'm thinking we have like a reception area. So we have like, I don't know, let's grab a, a brownish block. Soul sand, it's brownish. For like a receptionist's desk behind here so they sort of sit here they sign you in and uh, any queries and stuff it's a good location because it's right by the door parents can come in and, and, and get straight to reception uh, that means there's always someone here looking at the door so no one's coming in and then behind it we have a wall which goes to the staff room which I think maybe is a little bit big for a staff room um, but I suppose it's going to be at least quite a few stuff we could always bring this wall back um, a little bit we could bring it back to like here and have a load of sort of books and stuff like the bookshelves and, and stuff behind the desk there to fill it out maybe a school crest up on the wall do i have a crest or anything out here no we do have the city flag though i'll probably have the city flag up behind there we've got it on the um police station if we ever needed to uh, to do it okay so then we'd have a wall here on the end of the sort of main hallway if i could place blocks today that would be great okay with some sort of doorway in somewhere in the middle there we could have lockers sort of on the on the left and the right of the door stuff like that maybe even make it a little bit bigger and then we get to this basically it's like a giant o look a giant ring i can fly around here i can fly around there i can fly back down here and I'm back to the start again. Really cool design. And then through the middle, we have a courtyard, which is um, sort of exposed to the outside look. See? Really quite cool. So this will be a little bit of an outside natural part. The grass isn't ever going to grow by the looks. Um, so yeah, this will all stay grass or, or maybe have a path going through the middle. Benches. Just like a little bit of an outside, a little bit of a breezy area for when you're on lunches. Which means we always need that sort of clear. Now... If I move this doorway over to the left hand side, it means I could fit a classroom in here. Our first classroom will be like that. Now the classrooms don't need to be big. They only need to be like a few chairs and a, and a teacher's table. That's all it really you know, has to be. But some things that we need, we need a canteen, okay? Um, It'd be really cool to actually have a canteen that you walk through, but a canteen also needs to have access to the outside, like, like to the outside, like, oh, it's raining. I wondered why it felt a little bit dark. Let it clear. Hey, it just brightens up. You get a sort of blue hue in here otherwise. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we should have the canteen here. 
have an escape here if I move it over by a couple of blocks it's then in the middle of the car parking spot here yellow and oops put that like that okay uh, fire exit is what I'm thinking you see in the canteen and then if we get our, our wall blocks back we can put a wall there and a wall here and that's our canteen so we can have the kitchen area like where they they serve up your food again it doesn't need to be big it's not a big school okay it, it looks big on the outside but when you're inside there's not really all that much room um so that's going to be like a little mini kitchen we have some like ovens in here to cook, like the school pizzas and and stuff like that that they have we have a nice seating area here we have a doorway in there and then that's the, the the fire escape. We always need another escape room at the moment. There's only like one door in and out of the school, which isn't good. Uh, so we don't want a doorway going from the canteen into a like a school room. So I think if we put this like that, that gives us a, a school room. And if we go like this, oops, if we go like this, we can then get ourselves a couple of toilets going on in here that's something that i missed off the last one we'll have another school room like this um that's a little bit of a hidey way area what could this be we could make that into a little room uh like a janitor's closet yeah yeah, yeah. Like, like, like a cleaning cupboard in there that works out well we'll have a door there for that one we'll have the door here for that one okay i feel like that's pretty good Toilet and toilet. Good. Um, you know, it could be cool if we had on um, yeah, in the classroom. That's classroom door. Yeah, yeah. I knew I was missing a, a, a hole there. Okay. Uh, so on this side, we're gonna have a classroom come out. We're gonna leave like four blocks wide for the hallway. I think is 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 good. You don't want to have much thinner than that. Otherwise, no one's gonna be able to get through. We can have this all the way down here. And then split this into two classrooms, I think. I was thinking about three, but I think two's probably better. Yeah, two classrooms works out well. And a nice long hallway. Maybe again, get some lockers down here. So you'd have like grade two lockers and grade one lockers and stuff like that. You know, seniors and, uh, and what have you. And then down the bottom here, we don't really have, there isn't really too much down here. Uh, that we can use uh, space wisely with it's going to be a really long sort of wide hallway here and then this goes outside to um, the sheds where they store all these sports equipment footballs and stuff we've got this room here which I don't really know what could be used for in fact I don't know why there's a block missing there I don't think there should be um, I don't know what this room could be used for it's like an outside building um, separated from the rest of the school what could you possibly want to use this for let me know in the comment if i can't think of anything let me know in the comment section about what this could be i mean it's only sort of one room you can't feel like another room in here um i know my toilets at my high school were like this they were sort of like an outside toilet sort of situation um a detention room it could just be another classroom like an outside classroom and this leads back out to the car park it's like another way into the school need some benches and stuff going down here this looks like really dull and boring for sure oh night vision's running out okay let's think have i missed anything we've got staff room this time we've got canteen we've got lockers we've got toilets we can have we've got four classrooms one two three and four which is plenty enough uh, for minecraft school we don't need to have like whole wings of <laughs> of classrooms um now do we do like a year one year two year three year four or do we do an english maths science and art or something like that i don't know what way round we're gonna do it but uh what else would you have in a school uh canteen 
I'm, I'm, I'm sort of envisioning my high school in my head and trying to sort of think of anything that I might have missed. Obviously, we can't fit in like like music rooms and, and language rooms and stuff like that. The interiors to the classrooms are probably going to be pretty identical in all of them anyway. Um, there's not sort of not much customization you can do uh, with them. Let's get some gravel. We'll just work on this courtyard with what we've got left of the episode. So I think I want a broken gravel sort of pathway through here. I think. I might not like it once I've got it down. In my head it looks okay, but I might not when it's actually fully down. That's actually, <coughs> that actually looks really nice. Okay, uh, I want a lot of greenery. I want, I want, let's get the benches down first. Um, what are they called? Couch. Let's get these benches in here first. This is like, in my high school, this was like the place that you needed to be if you were cool. You, you ate lunch in the courtyard. Okay, and then I want a lot of greenery that sort of grows up and around. So let's get the leaves. Like this, like that one. Oh, I like that. One that sort of comes out and around the wall there. You don't want to inhibit sort of the pathway too much. Okay, and then there's sort of a little bit here, like that. Okay, uh, little tables. So uh, I think I'm going to use carpet and fence. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I just want one pillar in the middle of the fence. If I use the actual tables, you get like a leg on either side. And I don't, I don't really fancy that. So we're going to put some tables just beside some of these. Maybe this one on there. Uh, what else do we want? I want I want some little flowers. I don't want it to be too flowery. I think maybe if we just choose one flower, maybe even this like little azure flower. We just put this down. Uh, oh, let us let the night vision potion run out. I don't need it for the minute. No, where did I? Where do I want it? Oh, and I probably should. Oh, it is proper dark under here actually. Put that grass under there. <laughs> night vision the uh the motorway bridge takes up a lot of light apparently uh i want one more uh, maybe a rose bush or something then just a couple of rose bushes to pop some color like one up here and one there to fill up that spot i feel like that's a cool looking courtyard sort of like a little cut through um Anything else? Let's go on blocks. Let's just sort of have a flick down through here. I don't think I want any of those. I don't want nothing going across or anything like that. We haven't got the head ring for that. Oh, a couple of ferns. Absolutely. Can never turn down the ferns. Mm -hmm. Do I put a little bit of lime wool on here? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna do it. I want to do it on this one instead. Uh, grass. Like that. Let's just do the sort of the whole lot, and then it'll. We'll know. I don't know. I'm a bit sort of twixt in between. I really like the greenery going on, but I'm not sure about this. Maybe it'll grow on me. I'll leave it there for now, and uh, and I'll come back next. When we come back next episode, we'll have another look and see if we like it from there. Lanterns, I think, is going to be good for the lighting in here. Um, is that the lighting? Is that the lanterns that we usually use? It's not the lanterns that we usually use. Lamp. 
They're the ones that we usually use. Why did that come up as like a weird purpley color? Oh, it chooses a random color. Got like a little torch in it. No, these ones are better. Much better. Okay, so again, it's going to sort of edit our... Uh, how we see light for the moment because of the night vision potion. I think if we stagger this nicely enough, when we drink some milk... We should have a sort of a nice sort of glow down the courtyard now. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's goodly. That goodly? What a terrible word. Nicely, uh, eloquently lit. Very nice. All right, guys, we're gonna leave it there. That's gonna be my screenshot because that's what we sort of really got to show today. Boop. But if there's anything that I've missed, um, especially like here, this feels a little bit sort of uh, too open. I could extend that classroom a little bit to take up a little bit of room. Um, but maybe there's like a room that we can walk through to get out of here. Um, maybe this could even be a a classroom. Like we could do something like, like this. And the classroom just happens to also have an exit out the back here. Maybe we can put some more um, exits in. We've, we've added one now uh, in the canteen. Uh, but maybe we could... I can get out here. Yeah, maybe we could do something like that and this and make a way out there. And then this can now be an actual classroom. We could sort of even bring it back here. I think that's better, actually. So then that can go out to the schoolyard sheds and stuff uh, for your PE lessons. Ah, changing rooms for PE. Ah, perfect. That's what this can be. PE changing rooms. We can move the door over. And put another door in here. Minecraft literally crashed on me. I haven't had a Minecraft crash in like literally 300 episodes. I, I, I crashed a little bit at the beginning getting the mod set up. But once I had it set up, it never crashed. And, and Minecraft just crashed. I don't know. Why, I don't understand why. I was just breaking some prick blocks. Anyway, we're right at the end of the episode anyway. Uh, put that down there. That makes a wall. Boys changing rooms and girls changing rooms. That's the perfect thing for that building. That's absolutely perfect. All right, guys. Anyway, now I can end the episode off if Minecraft doesn't crash on me again. <laughs> if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. Let me know if I forgot anything sort of really, really important. And uh, I would, I could potentially do a second floor up here with like two or three classrooms if we need to, uh, if we feel like we, we want to do some more classrooms, but I'm not really too bothered either way. I think it'd be nice to have ground floor one at the very least. See you guys in the next episode. Bye!